we're beating our chest, we're beating our drums, our bellies are in, our weapons are out. Now that that's clear, let's keep going. Hello there, Tool Army. Welcome back. It's Lauren here. I just feel obligated to say it's been a while. Hopefully not too long. I've been trying to do some more tool videos lately. I had a poll for this one though, so I wanted to get you guys in on it. So thanks for voting. Here are the results. A clear winner. So, Invincible Tool, which is sort of fitting. <laughs> the Invincible Tool. Some floaty tool coming? I don't know. We'll find out. There was some uh, controversy in the comment section about this poll. I just figured I'd let you guys duke it out. I wouldn't get in the middle of that. So hopefully this is uh, okay that this won. I think this was the one you wanted to win. Let's do it. Let's get floaty. All right, here we go. I would have no idea. I mean, the intro is very tool, but if I just heard that, that vocal right there, I don't think I could tell you that was Maynard. Why? Why is that? Like, especially just the first line, there is no way. I would be like, uh, I don't know. I don't know who did it. It doesn't sound like him. Interesting. So the intro of this sounds like, um, because of course I had to compare it to something stupid. We're not in a canoe this time. But um, it sounds like what your guitar teacher would have you practice. It just sounds like one of those scale kind of um, to practice the, the finger picking thing. This would be a good, a good song to practice if you were learning guitar. And sprite break. This is how you turn a 12 minute tool song into a 24 minute tool song. I really have no opinion of it so far, other than not sounding like Maynard to me. I don't know. Let me go back some. Maybe a little bit? I don't know. Time to tool this up.
This woman does not know when to pause. This woman doesn't understand a tool song needs to be played in its entirety. This woman doesn't understand fill in the blank. Probably not. No, I don't understand, but I don't care. It's my video. In case you were wondering if this is floaty, the answer is yes, this is floaty tool. Other thing, Descending is here as a suggested video. It has 13 million views. This one has 24 million views. So I'm going to assume some epic is about to go down, probably right where I paused it, because at this point in the song, I like Descending more. It's early yet, I guess. I mean, a lot of songs are over by this point, three minutes and 35 seconds, but Tool is just getting, they're just getting started. But I'm just sort of surprised the view count difference between these two. And Numa has 16 million. Whoa now. What? That's because everyone's watching the drum cam. Is that right? Maybe that's why. I guess he's sounding a little more like Maynard now. But I think I felt this way about all the songs on this album. He's not really sounding like himself. He's just older now. That's all. And when you're just so used to uh, younger angry Maynard or just younger Maynard in general. I don't know. He's just sounding different. Not important. My stomach's growling. Tool's making me hungry. Weapon out and belly in. Okay. Need some M&Ms. There you go. At this point, I'm not like, dear God, what is this? Like I said, it's early still. And I don't know if I was with Numa and with Descending. I don't think they were like instantly awesome to me, which I say cautiously. I don't want to be making any waves here. We're beating our chest. We're beating our drums. Our bellies are in. Our weapons are out. Now that that's clear, let's keep going. I gotta be on the floor for this. This is one of those just quintessential lay down and stare at the ceiling or keep your eyes closed and uh, go somewhere. It's just such a different vibe to like jerk off or uh, swamp song. The ones I have done recently. Here's what I've deduced as I've been sitting here in the toolness. I've been sitting in the toolness. Yeah, I don't know either. If you're wondering what's up with this chick, I don't know either. I figured out early tool, we'll just call it early tool, is your everyday tool. I've explained this already. This isn't new information, but I'm going to say it again. Early tool is everyday tool, no matter what is going on tool. With floaty tool, you have to just want to go somewhere. I don't know. I think you know. You gotta be in the mood for floaty tool. 
I think that's fair to say. That's how I see it anyway. So perhaps on this particular day, this Monday afternoon, maybe I'm just not feeling the floaty tool today. I don't dislike the song at all. I just think you have to be in the mood for a song like this. And maybe I'm just not in that mood. Every time. Every time. To the point where it seems like I pre-planned it. I think people are going to start thinking that I listened to the song ahead of time. And right before there's a big switch in the sound, I say something about how the song is whatever. It's just a really odd coincidence. It just, it does it every time. Because I really like that little section. That was a cool, cool little section. Would I still categorize this as a floaty tool song? Yeah, but it's sort of uh, incorporating some of the non-floaty. <laughs> no wonder people give me crap in the comments. I'm not making any sense at all. I think I'm on your side this time. That was so tool of them. having a good time. Oh 
Yeah, I did that one just to piss you off. <laughs> was I successful? So Maynard is tasting mythical fountains. That explains a lot. If I was tasting mythical fountains, I think this song would be just like, I have left my body. But I'm very aware that it is a Monday afternoon and I'm talking to myself in front of a camera lens. So quite a different experience. This is my last reaction of the day. I should have started with this one because I'm like running out of steam at this point. Whew. I have very mixed feelings about this so far. It's going to take a couple listens. That's for sure. That's usually how the floaty ones are. Like early tool, they're just sort of instantly I like them. Floaty tool, I, I sort of have to listen to a few times and be in the right headspace for them. Because right now, I'm, sh I'm sure the majority of this video, I've just been like completely straight faced, like freaking Buster Keaton. Um, that's stone face. If you know who Buster Keaton is, you're a cool tool. But let's keep going. I don't, I don't know about this effect. Like, the guys are like, oh, you liked that pause? Let's give you a bigger one. And they did. And now there's a pause again. Their pause allowed me to pause. Thank you, gentlemen. It's like they got tired of that riff and they're like, let's start a new one. They're like, how about we change it? Okay. And they all just do it. And they don't even need to talk about what the new riff is because they've been together long enough to anticipate what the new riff will be. Rift? What the new riff will be. And then they just play it and they're all in sync and this is what you get. We're going to finish this. We're going to do the rest of it in one go. Yeah, I don't, I got to hear the whole thing before I can really give you any kind of opinion. Cause I've just been all, I've been doing this video now 31 minutes. So I'm going to put it back on.
I'm gonna get some crap in this video <laughs> because I'm not over the moon about this song right now. I'm not like just floating to a higher plane right now. Here's what I'm gonna do. I am going to listen to it again, but I'm gonna listen to it on the floor and just completely immerse myself in this. And I guarantee you I'm going to have a different reaction to it and I'll come back and tell you how that went. I'll give you a, an opinion then. Because right now, I, I don't know. I don't even know how I feel about it. So I'm going to do that and I will be right back. Tool Army, I have tasted mythical fountains. <laughs> okay, so uh, here's what happened. I did what I said I was going to do. Obviously, as I predicted, much better the second time. Definitely epic. I can see why it has so many views. However... I do think, as silly as it is, you just really have to be in a certain mood for this. You might think that's stupid and ridiculous, and that's fine. That's how opinions work. I liked it much, much better the second time. And in future listens, I'll like it even more. I wish I had more of a, I guess, more of a reaction in general to it the first time around. It's just clearly a Monday afternoon and I've been making videos for like four hours now. So I'm just sort of like, I really should have started with this one. If I do a tool video, it's the only video I do. and I do it on a different day. But for whatever reason, I thought, oh, I'll just stick this on the end of all these other ones. So I did this song a disservice and I did you a disservice and I apologize for that. But that's what the second listen is for. And it was uh, definitely, definitely helped my opinion of the song overall, just hearing it again. I tried to clear my mind, but I'm always just thinking about so many things. It's hard to do that. You can sound off below, say whatever you want. It's, it's totally cool. I'm used to it by now. I guess that will do it. So thank you so much for spending part of your day with me, Tool Army. Continue being your awesome selves. And I will see you for the next one. Hello, jerk-offs. I can't do it. I just can't do it. Let me try again. There is a word. Paradiddle, and that's a drum thing. What's the, what's the guitar thing? I don't know. Have a spray. Floaty tool is like, you just have to be in the mindset to I guess it just depends on the kind of tool you like. But I don't know. I'm just gonna watch this bird for a while.